Hey guys, Laureline F here and welcome to another very exciting and insane tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to render a HD video with a low file size using Sony Vegas. By the way, I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 9. That's all, so let's get started. I'm gonna put my video file inside the project media. This is 1920 by 1080 resolution and it is 4.29 GB. Okay, so just drag it to the timeline. By the way, this is my overall outro video. You'll see the full video after this tutorial. So now, I'm gonna click File and then select Properties. Make sure that you match the width and height. If your footage is 1280 by 720, then you should put 1280 by 720. My footage is 1920 by 1080, so 1920 by 1080. Now for field order, choose non-progressive scan. Pixel aspect ratio to 1 square. Output rotation, leave it to regional unless you want to flip your footage. Frame rate, now on this part, make sure you match the frame rate. Say for example, the footage is 30 frames per second. Then you must make your frame rate here to 30. For pixel format, choose 32-bit floating point full range. Composting gamma, leave it. Full resolution rendering quality, select best. The interlace method, select none. On this part, the most important is the resolution and the frame rate. It must be the same to your footage. Once you're done, click apply, then OK. Alright, once you're going to render your footage, just click File, Render As. A dialog box will appear. For the Save As type, choose Main Concept, AVC, AAC, MP4. Okay, so click the Custom button. For the frame size, choose Custom Frame Size, then make the resolution same as your footage. I'm gonna make it 1920 by 1080. For the profile, choose main. For the frame rate, like I said before, it must be the same as your footage frame rate. For field order, choose non-progressive scan. For pixel aspect ratio, make it 1. Number of reference frames, 1. Then here, click variable bitrate and check to pass. Okay, so on this part, it is now depends on your footage. So let's say your footage is a gameplay. For a gameplay, cell phone and live footage, I highly recommend a 6 million bitrate and above. For a slideshow, 2 million bitrate is enough. By the way, on my gameplay videos, I use 10 million bitrate since they are just 5 minutes long. For a very short intro or outro, let's say less than 20 seconds intro or outro video, then use a 20 million bitrate for maximum HD quality. Alright, let's move on to audio. Click the audio tab. For the sample rate, click 48 Hz. And for the bit rate, choose 128. Then click the project tab. For the video rendering quality, choose use project settings. Don't forget to save your template by clicking the template bar and write a title. Okay, I'm gonna write 1080p for YouTube. Then click the save template this little icon here, then click OK. Once you're done, choose a file name and click Save to render it. By the way guys, I highly recommend to add sharpness on your footage because honestly speaking, upon rendering your video, it will get a bit blurry. So you may want to add a little bit of sharpness on your video. Let's say your video is 720p and above, then 40% sharpness is good. And if your footage is 720 and below, then just add 20% sharpness. Okay, this is the rendered file and it is now 17.9 MB. I made some comparison. So this is the AVI, look clearly. And this is the main concept, AVC, AAC. Completely the same quality as the AVI but with a smaller file size. Awesome, right? Alright, so I rendered a WMV just to add one more comparison. With the same settings as the MP4, I got this. As you can see, it's brighter than the AVI and MP4. And it loses some colors from the original. 
it has 40% sharpness but still blurry. And it's bigger than the MP4. Alright, that's so much it guys. Remember that the file size may vary depending on how heavy or long your footage is. So, by the way, if you have fast internet connection, let's say you have 5 Mbps and above, then I recommend to use a 20 million bitrate. But if you'll have less than 5 Mbps connection, then less than 10 million bitrate should be fine. Remember that the higher the bitrate, the better, but the higher the bitrate will give you a bigger file size. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this will help you. As always, if you have a question, just leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe!